The push to bring Paul Whelan back home to the United States intensifying as President Biden speaks to his family. The president called Paul's sister Elizabeth on Friday. That call comes as Whelan remains detained in Russia, where he's been held for over three years on espionage charges. His family says the president reassured them that his administration is committed to bringing Paul home. Megan Woods joins us live. And Megan, you spoke to Paul's brother David this afternoon. What's he saying? I did, and he's saying that their family is extremely grateful for that call from President Biden after what he calls a roller coaster of a week. It's always hard when there's something that relates to Paul's case but isn't actually Paul's case. Cases like Olympic gold medalist and WNBA star Brittany Griner, who has been detained in Russia for months. Earlier this week, Paul's sister Elizabeth criticized the White House, saying they weren't giving Paul the same level of attention. Then the family got a surprise. Friday, President Joe Biden called Elizabeth. She had just spoken with National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on Thursday. We do have a certain amount of communication at lower levels of the State Department uh, about Paul's case. Obviously, we speak to the embassy on a regular basis to make sure that he's actually healthy and well. Um, but when you have the president call, it's obviously a huge honor to have a president uh, speak to you. Um, and to reassure you about your loved one's case. David says the call was extremely kind of the president. I think it's symbolic. Uh, I don't actually think that a presidential call means anything in the sense of it doesn't mean that something's about to happen. It doesn't mean that progress has been made that wasn't going to be made otherwise. But it does bring an extra boost in the push to bring Paul home. A lot of this drama of the last week has been useful to raise awareness about Paul's case. I think there are many, many more people who know about Paul Whelan and how long he's been detained uh, by the Russian government. And after three and a half years, David says this doesn't get easier for his family. It's actually getting harder, especially with that war in Ukraine. He also mentioned that Paul has 13 years left in his sentence, and they are working very hard to see if he doesn't have to serve the rest of that and that they can bring him home. Back to you, Pamela.